welcome back. Yeah, so welcome back to the uh, Midwest Sports Show. Mm, 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 mm. Late night. May I say something unprovoked? Addition. Since uh, you don't have it on the scoreboard, the rundown, I would like to take this opportunity to say congratulations, Badgers. You broke our heart, but you won fair and square. We Did settled it, it on the field. Iowa lost 24-22 to 22 to Wisconsin. Did something happen in college football, James? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Iowa, Wisconsin, and then... Uh, yeah, Iowa went for two to tie the game, and we didn't get it. So, good job, Badgers. <laughs> and then I would also Yikes. like to say Gophers beat uh, – Gophers are undefeated, and Penn State was undefeated, and the Gophers beat them. So, Gophers are 9-0. and all. Congratulations. All right. There. All right, that's the college And then update. Illinois. Illinois won again. They've won three, three, three or four straight, so – there you go. It's the power of Lovey Smith, huh? I don't think so. I think he's terrible, but they're on a winning streak, so you can't really fire him now. But yeah, Iowa. We got we play. No, who do we play? Oh, this week uh, Iowa plays Minnesota I, for for the bronze pig, Florida Rosedale, and Minnesota comes in nine and zero. I think the first time in over a hundred years. So, uh oh, <laughs> could be tough. All right. Yeah. College. Are they paying those kids yet? Uh, very soon. Uh, the kid from Ohio State did take some money and promptly got suspended. And even oh yeah, yeah, didn't uh, yeah, because he what he he borrowed some money so his mom could watch him play in a yeah. bowl game. Yeah, I, his girlfriend. <laughs> hey, his get him girlfriend. off the field. <laughs> get him off the field. He, he uh, borrowed money so his girlfriend could go to the Rose Bowl. And no, it was his mom, wasn't it? His mom, I, or was I, it his I, girlfriend? I think it was his girlfriend. Now, if that money happened to go towards a hotel room where he uh, Boinker. Uh, uh, engaged in sexual intercourse, Uh-oh. then uh, get him off the field. Yeah. Get him off the field. Hey, the day's coming. Believe me. Uh, so, and, so, and so was this guy. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Someone go wow. over that uh, hotel room with the black light. And, and may okay? I say this also For evidence. about uh, uh, fantasy. I saw this is my second year playing fantasy football, and it's just – I, I It's miserable, isn't it? It's yeah, not, it's because, not fun. Yeah, because I, I – I would have won today. Okay, I had Jarvis Landry in my starting lineup all season. And then uh, I got a tip from the higher-ups. Start uh, Cooper Cup for the Rams <laughs> over uh, Jarvis Landry. Right? You know how many fancy points Cooper Cup got? Uh, probably zero. Three, uh, zero. Zero. I was going to say three. Zero. He got zero. He didn't have a catch. And then Jarvis Landry had another big day with a touchdown. That's the difference. So and well, Gene, that's why they call it gambling. Right? I know, but it's still uh, yeah, I know you get kind of wrapped. All up. All right, well, Gene, this is uh, the Midwest Sports Show, Hello. and uh, we are recording on the eve of uh, Veterans Day. Oh Gene, yeah, Gene, you're going to the Middle East for a uh, NCO show, right, yes, or SCO show? Yeah, that's why we're uh, never, recording I've this never, earlier. Uh, I yeah, traveled to Vietnam or any of our battle countries. Have you got a Gettysburg? I'm sure your dad dragged you to Gettysburg, yes, right? My dad did. No, my mom and dad went. I've not, I haven't been. They, he, my dad was big on the war and the Civil War, all that stuff. Yeah. But tomorrow's a great day for a veteran. So congratulations. Or, hello, or thank you, I guess. Right? Yep. Salute. Yep. All the nurses that are now taking care of you uh, have to work. Yeah. I guess those are the old veterans. Like, I guess we got young veterans too, right? One of my friends actually in L.A., uh, Dr. George. He is uh, 92, and he fought in World War II, and uh, is still active, still does a lot of work with the veterans. Amazing guy. And he was only 17, and he lied about his age so he could go to fight in World War II. Wow. Yeah, pretty amazing. Like as a hero. Yeah, great. There's guys like, yeah, we're losing some of the old World War II vets, but good job, veterans. Right yep. Keep- yeah, was Trump, Mr. Trump, he wasn't a veteran. Was <laughs> no, he had bone spurs. He had a lot of, <laughs> no, he had a lot of Twitter wars over the years. Yeah, well, the year. he, he's, he's, oh, the, he's the commander-in-chief now, he, Gene. You know what? He went to the Alabama-LSU uh, game yesterday. 
And I guess it's the first sporting event he went to that he hasn't got booed. Can you imagine? You have to go. The only he place you can go. Yeah, you have to go to Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah. For Tuscal- people not Tuscaloosa. for people not to. By the way, people were ruined. Yeah. It's just probably more a majority or at really least overheard. And probably it was probably, by the way, during like halftime, too. I, yeah. When everyone was trying to get a beer. And like so the portion of the people in the stands were probably, uh, you know. Yeah. Not the students. Well, it it was the first sporting event I guess he's managed to find where uh he was somewhat popular. He had to go to Alabama, so Yep. Uh yeah. What what what's next, Gene? Uh <laughs> Jackson, Mississippi? I guess, yeah. Well he's done a lot for hasn't he done a lot to promote civil rights? No, oh, Gene, according to him, he's done nothing you know, more for black Americans than uh, any other president. That's right. Of I, all time. Yeah. Is there a time wall? you heard? Pull up a wall down there, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, Gene, we're going to stick to sports, Gene. Okay. I did see The Irishman. Very good. Awesome. Martin Scorsese's film, three and a half hours long. Longest movie I've ever gone to. I can't imagine. I don't I don't even think. I Do you think, think maybe these guys, uh, hey, how about make a 90-minute film? Yeah, well, How that's, that? that's why I think Paramount uh, got out of uh, uh, passing the film. Netflix made it. Let me just say something, Gene. If you're Martin Scorsese, yeah, Scorsese, Scorsese, yeah, it's easy to make a three-hour film. It's hard to make a ninety-minute film. Yeah, make yeah. a ninety-minute film, right. uh, M- Marty. Yeah, uh, this was all <laughs> a three. This was three and a half hours long, Jesus. and there was no intermission. But the good news is, I did. By the find way, out the the only people watching this shit are old people, anyways. Gene, or you, you know, right. let, Marty, let us take a. You know, we gotta take a piss. I, I that's what I was thinking. You know, I, I well, when you see the film, there's no way to, there's no real intermission. Or, or, or have like have like a, a disclaimer on a really long, drawn out scene that has no that's purpose. Right, right. Like, go ahead, take a piss now, that's folks. That's a good point. That's Do a, something. A, yeah. Well. I did find out what happened to Jimmy Hoffa, the true story. So. Do they reveal that? Yes. Did he make Hoffa? Was he the director for Hoffa? No, he wasn't. That was actually uh, uh, Danny DeVito directed that. Oh, okay. Jack Nicholson, Danny DeVito. Uh, he, he based it on the book, They Paint Houses, which is slang. Do you know what that means? What? The, they, uh, the, 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 oh, the, the with blood. The yes, I'm exactly. guessing with blood. Yeah, <laughs> right. uh, Hitman. Yeah. <laughs> Gene, you're acting like that's a uh, secret code, like Mayan well, code I or something. I think it would have been a cool title for the movie, wouldn't it? They paint houses, but they changed it to The Irishman. Uh, De Niro. Well, that sounds more like a uh, gang film, right, I guess, right? Right, right. And, and De Niro. Oh, and Joe Pesci's back. Okay, that's all. God, man. These old guys, these old ass 80 yeah, year olds. Joe Pesci. Still collecting Harvey checks. Cattell. Yeah, Robert Harvey, De Niro. Oh, my God. And Al Pacino. Al Pacino <laughs> played uh, Hoffa. <laughs> Let's just say there was a strong stench of shit in the air. <laughs> no. All these guys are wearing diapers. Okay? No. They, they, hey, they did, and they it, it's not one of those mysteries what happened. Oh, they let you know what happened. So hopefully. Right they, in the beginning. Yeah. Well, so, well, I mean, I mean, well, I don't know what the big mystery is. He, he's dead, well, right? What do you think happened? And well, they, they probably, wasn't he supposed to, like, meet someone? And yeah. then he, like, they, mm-hmm. the last thing he was seen, like, on the. In uh, Detroit. In like a like a diner or something yeah, like that. Yeah, in Detroit. Someone yep. probably was. It was probably some chick was like, "Yo, can you help me with my car?" He probably went out there and then two thugs probably put some piano wire around well, his neck. You know? All I can say is, uh, if you have three and a half hours, watch the movie and you'll find out. Good lord. Yeah. I'll pass. Okay. Make a ninety. I, uh, is there a ninety minute version? I don't. Think Let's cut so. it down. Yeah. All right. All right, Gene, we're going to stick to sports. Okay. That was Gene's uh, <laughs> Gene's movie. Well, album. I just wanted to tell you, it's not every week you get to go to a three-and-a-half-hour long God, movie. What, what? Tarantino freaking. Yeah, but he, he Hateful Eight was three hours long, over around three hours, but he put intermission in there. Yeah. He usually sticks to around two hours. Uh, all his movies. Yeah, all his movies are, like, pretty long, right? Yeah, but two the, hours it's all It's quality. Not, not a lot of wasted stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, Gene. Yes. Talk, talk, talk about a lot of wasted stuff. Oh, uh, I already. Yeah. How about my life? Watch oh. it. Watching the first half of the Detroit oh, Chicago I game. I wanted to watch it. I mean, the Bears. OK, so the big talk all week is if the Bears can win, will they bring back Club Dub where they dance the disco ball, <laughs> the whole deal? The, this was the uh, number one topic on talk yeah, radio. It, it kind of Club was Dub. a big deal. And they did. And, and and from what I read, I did not see any of it. 
th- this game's way too ugly to celebrate, right? Well, Gene, I mean, the, uh, was good, the, the the first half, uh, I was uh, considering bringing uh, allegations of war crimes <laughs> against Matt Nagy, all right? Because oh, wait, uh, oh, they had a lot of punts, didn't they? Yeah, it was. Three it looked like typical bear bullshit. In fact, Gene, they actually got a uh, first down, I think, on their uh, second drive. Standing ovation. Yeah, they from got, the crowd. They got, uh, the, the first, I think, the first drive was three plays and out. Then they went six plays and out, or something like yep. that. So they got a first down. And uh, talk. Yeah, there you go. Talk about luck. Talk about luck. Uh, Matt Stafford has a yeah. broken bones in his back. If he would have played today, Detroit would have crushed him. Did not. He, did not they, play. I, they would have scored. And the backup. There was times where the backup was looking better than Matt Trubisky. Yeah, Mitch. Mitch Trubisky, sorry. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I mean, uh, the Bear, the Lions defense is supposedly not very good at all, and the Bears still only scored 20 points. Yeah. Stafford, Stafford would have beat them. And this right? is, and the Gene, this is, this, this is the thing about Trubisky. Yeah. He has one good game like every six games where right. he throws three touchdowns. Well, this was his first Mir- good game all year. Miraculously throws three right. touchdowns. He's only had five touchdowns up to this point through eight games. Five touchdowns. Wow. Yeah. So this is so he has eight now, right? Now eight through nine games. Yeah. And uh basically, you know, has has this flashes of brilliance because he can't throw like a nice pretty ball. Yeah, yeah. But he does that like two times a game where you need to be like, I don't know, ten times a game. Right to be a good quarterback, yeah. and uh, so he's gonna be in the he's gonna be in the starting lineup, Gene. Yeah, for well, the next five for the rest of the season now at least. Ne- next week they go to the Rams. I think they go to the Rams and then the Cowboys. Uh, do they come? Do they come to LA? I think next week they're in LA. Are you going they're to the game? Get that shit kicked out. You should of go. To the, it'll probably be fairly. Uh, I, I probably get tickets for a hundred bucks. Rams are playing pretty well. I have no desire. I'm going to see the Donna Summer musical <laughs> <next> Sunday. <laughs> So is I'm Donna right. Summer even in it? She's uh, dead, I, right? I don't think she's alive. Oh, I don't so, Chief, you're going to go see Donna Summer instead of Mitch Trubisky? Yeah. At the Coliseum? Um, wait, I don't want to kill her off, but in case she's uh, not alive, oh, we miss you, Donna. And if you are still alive, well, uh, I heard the musical is great. Yes, yeah, about her life. So I'm going to that. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, it's, okay. And uh, Gene, well, you know, they. Uh, Lions almost came back, you know, oh my God. and Driscoll was leading him down oh, really? the field, uh, but could not finish the drive. How, so. how are the Bears going to win any games like that? I mean, their offense, they scored, okay, Trubisky threw three touchdowns. They missed an extra point, but they still 20 points against a terrible Lions team right now. Yikes. Well, Gene, you know what may have helped them? Club dub. T- turning off all the TVs in the stadium, oh, Gene. Right. How about this? In the stadium. Uh, yeah. Word got out bef- this week that uh, I've done I've, uh, I've done pretty good with that, Trubisky said, trying to get some of these TVs in the building turned off because you've got too many people talking on TV about us and what they think about us and what we should do and what we are and what we're not. Oh, my God. But they don't really know who we are, blah, blah, blah. blah. What? Gene. Yes. Uh, are they who who's talking about the Bears? First of all, I, well, only uh, I mean, the laughing stock. I mean, right. I, I I know Negi has got weird hiccups about like well, showing footage I, over and over. Are there I, just replays of people talking shit about yeah, the Bears going through the I hallways? Mean, yeah, of Hollis know. Field or whatever the hell they practice he, on. He, by congratulations, Mitch, you created a story, and then people were talking about you about what an idiot you are for doing. <laughs> saying, right? You know, Sam Darnold gets all this shit about seeing ghosts. Right, Mitch, you're right. busy. says a dumb thing. Thing every goddamn 48 hours yeah i know i don't think the bears can were they bad i mean didn't danny trevathan there uh he broke his arm or something yeah right? I, I guess that's not good so i think the bears are on borrowed time or they, it probably not even borrowed it's probably owed and been collected <laughs> i think they're gonna they're four and five they were three and one but again, this is uh, gonna... they'll be cocky this week. Oh, listen, Mitch, nobody believed in me. I, you know, see what Mitch can do. He's like, yeah. you'll be like, I shut them up. Detroit. I shut everyone. Uh, Simmons has uh, shut let, you up. Let Simmons. Be, no <laughs> mistake. They should have scored 45 points against Detroit. And yeah, the Staff, guy. If Stafford would have played today, that Staff, Stafford, that Detroit would have scored 35 probably. Yep. Bear down. Yeah, it's ugly. Do something. Yeah. All right. Oh, this game, it was, the- this was a, you know what, Carolina 
in, in Green Bay, they're supposed to be the national game. And I was like, oh, this can be so cool to watch this because I was worried about Carolina. Yeah, we get the Rams Steelers. Pittsburgh Rams. Oh, that, which was a good game. But, I mean, we never we get we get screwed. Well, and Gene. then we get stuck with the Chargers all the time. So many. Chargers, why, when you moved here, do you realize how, um, how you uh, – Ruined a lot of people's Sundays by always being on TV. <laughs> These when they're San Diego. Yeah, I, think, yeah. I think that's called collateral damage. I, uh, that's a big one. Yep. Well, yeah. uh, Gene, that's why I pay for uh, NFL Sunday ticket. Oh, yeah. That's right. The online subscription, Gene. And okay. uh, that came in handy. Um, as I saw the uh, Carolina Panthers come to the uh, frozen tundra. Oh, my God. Literally, literal frozen tundra, Gene, as temperatures I, were 32 degrees. I, I, was, I was following it online. It's hard to watch it on ESPN Gamecast because they'll show second and one. They'll show uh, animated ball going. So you're really out of the loop. I didn't know it was snowing, though. I mean, look awesome. Snow yeah. near the end, yeah. Yeah, that was so and, cool. And uh, let me tell you something, uh, Panthers. Panthers? Yes. The same, the same Myrtle Beach, all right? <laughs> <laughs> is, is that in South Carolina? I, I, I think I've been to Myrtle Beach. I <laughs> which think it Carol- is South Carolina. Yeah. And these oh, guys are no- Charles in North Carolina, right? Where oh, these guys okay. are? Where are they? Uh, listen, they, they ain't no Bank of America's in Green Bay <laughs> in Lambo. Right. right. We just barter. They just barter. No, no. Right? They're, they're first federal town. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't know that. Oh, really? Or, or U.S. Bank. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm saying banks I've known when I was in my 20s. They probably all got gobbled up. Mm. By some sort of banking corporation. Uh, but Gene, did you know this? Kyle Allen, the uh, quarterback that took over Cam Newton's place, is his parents are from Milwaukee. I did not know that. And they were at the game. All right. Wearing uh, orange hunt. No, I'm just saying. No, they're, they're, oh. they're wearing Carolina Panthers. That had to hurt them. I bet they're Packer fans. They have to be. They I ge- have to be. I guess the. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And. Uh, so Gene, uh, you know that means Kyle Allen. He, he's a milltowner, Gene. Oh, he's a milltowner. What's that? It's not good. Oh, it's a milltowner. Milltowner is that <laughs> yeah. Milwaukee town? What is that? Milltowner from from Milwaukee. Oh, okay, Milltown. that's what they call milltown. All right, didn't know that. Nope. All right, and uh, Gene, there was a uh, kind of a controversial play, Gene. Uh, they, wait, let me see, because I saw the highlights. When the Packers were at, the, like, the two or the three or the five oh, or something like that. Didn't they go for it on the last play of the first half? Is that what you're talking about? No, when they, um... Oh. When there was a roughing the passer penalty. Oh, okay, I don't know what you're talking uh, about. Then. So, basically, it was, like, third and nine or whatever, right. or something like that, mm-hmm. and, uh, Rodgers, uh, you know, stepped back. Was about to get tackled, threw the ball. It could have been actually a touchdown ground, but there was kind of a guy nearby. Oh, that one. Threw... I did see it when he got sacked, in the, when he threw it away in the end zone. Yep, and so yeah. uh, and Gerald McCoy tackled him, sort of, but uh, it was kind of obvious from the replay that he didn't, you know, fall on him too hard, but he did right. fall on him, especially on his shoulder. Oh. And there was a uh, penalty roughing the passer, and that basically allowed the drive to continue. Wow. Now, the drive did go 98 yards. It probably went like 10 minutes, five, seven minutes, whatever, but they did not score because they did go for it on fourth down mm. and not go for it. But a lot of people are going to point to that play, Gene. Yeah. As a big turning point. Yeah. It was like well, a you know, 10 when you're, when three you're, point swing. I know. Well, when you're in Green Bay, you get the that's the absolute hometown call. Oh, I did see that play, though. Oh, mm. cool. listen. Listen, folks, are you uh, Carolina crybabies? Yeah. All the Bears and Lions fans and Vikings fans going to yeah, be crying about crying how, down at Myrtle Beach. How, how Green Bay always gets all the calls? Right. You guys you guys better know something. This is coming can't, straight at you. Can't, can't be wrapping up on number 12. <laughs> all right? He's the best. He's, yeah. he's a superstar. Can't lose him. Can't be wrapping up on the MVP, all right? Can't be right. falling on him. Right. No one's there to watch Gerald McCoy, Gene. <laughs> there for A-Rod. Yeah. So you better don't get him mistaken. There you go. Wow. Right. I like that. All right. Hey, what would you think? We okay with them going for it at the end of the half then? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I wish they would have called like a better play, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I saw the play. Although uh, the guy, I, although I think uh, what they were saying is that A Rod was doing all those crazy barks, and his own O line wasn't ready for it, so that's oh. why they allowed the guy to come because the guy got tackled pretty he far beyond the line. So yeah, but what I did not like was that last drive that the Packers had. They were probably at the forty, maybe forty five. And they looked like they were going to go for it. It was like four and three. Oh, on, okay. And uh, he was trying to, uh, and this is like maybe two and a half minutes, maybe three minutes left or something like that. Right. And uh, A-Rod was trying to draw him off sides. They did not draw him off sides. And uh, got to delay a game penalty. And then uh, the Packers proceeded to punt. I don't know why they get more aggressive. Like at least maybe even go for a field goal attempt or at least run oh, the ball yeah, or something. Yeah. So, you know, they gave uh, Kyle Allen the ball the last, uh, you know, mm. couple of minutes. Because against Kansas City, Kansas City, they went for or they. Yeah, I, mean, I think that was way too down. conservative at the end there. And, wow. uh, yeah, so, so Christian McCaffrey really... was basically half a yard from getting the ball. Oh, in. my gosh. Now, and also, you know, Ron, Ron Rivera went for, for two. I thought fairly easy, even though they were only down by 14. Why do you go for two? Oh, he did go for yeah, two. Yeah, so they, they would have had to get that two-point conversion anyways. So that they were chasing that point for a minute, so. Wow. So yeah, the, that I mean, I was that's when I was watching the game cast, and I was like, oh, fourth and two, and now on the goal line, and uh, Christian McCaffrey. That's amazing. They're able to stop him, though. Yep. That yep. that's right. That's really that's a pretty good win because a lot of people thought Carolina that the Packers were in and. Yeah, that would have been a tough Well, walk. they got a good physical defense, and uh, I think the uh, offense kind of got a nice tune-up. I think uh, Aaron Rodgers kind of was able to stretch out the old uh, shoulder uh, yeah. shoulder throws. And blow. And he, now, he had a pretty good game. He, he had some great throws from what I saw. And now they go back because they had two road games. Now they came home. Now they got to go back on the road for two more. So keep it up, Packers. Who are they play? Who are they play? I, I they're going. I think they're on a bye next week. I think week, they're going on a bye this yeah, week. Yeah, they're on a bye next and week. And then they go on the road for two games. And then uh, they play. Probably. Oh, the Forty Niners. So Ooh, we'll see if the Niners wow. are undefeated by then. Oh, so they go to Forty Niners in San Francisco. Yep. That's it. And then wow. they play the Giants in New York. So okay, cross country, cross country. Wow, that's that. Yeah, that's something. That's a, that's a good test. I mean, Giants obviously terrible but yeah yeah all right and uh as we record this minnesota is playing in dallas let me see uh, 14, i, th- I thought uh, dallas, dallas just dallas scored it up tied it up oh, but, but they called the, the they called the flag yeah my friend uh is at the game he went down my sister and her husband they have um richie my brother-in-law they have season tickets but Minnesota's pretty it. good everyone thought the division was great as it turns out detroit's not very good Stafford's neither the good, Bears and the Bears are. Which I, is just I not would very say good. Bears are not good at all, but uh, Packers <laughs> are really good. I would say the Bears are and, very uh, subpar. Gee, you know we are on outside of uh, AT and T Stadium, so uh, oh, there know, we we're are. There too. Yeah, we just wow. don't have tickets to the game. Tried to get them, but just couldn't pull it. That's off. hot ticket. You'd think we flew all the way to Dallas that we'd be able to get some tickets. Don't don't. It's a hot ticket, don't you know? Right. Oh, they did give it. Okay, they gave it to him. Hopefully, um, it's All Amari right. Cooper, my fantasy guy. It's hard being in fantasy because you watch. But you know what? Now I understand why fantasy is so important to the NFL because you pay attention to all the games. Yeah, you, you try to watch every single game. Yeah, which is great. Except it's. You hate I like movies. watching. I'll, I'll watch a shitty ass game. I watched a um, yeah couple of games. I did want to see the Bears just because there's been they were under a lot of scrutiny, but mm, whatever. All right. Well, Gene, we had uh, worst day of the week uh, uh, um, last week. I sa- I know something happened in Iowa this week, so I'm I'm just. I well, I I don't believe. Nope. Nope. I have nothing from Iowa unless oh. you unless you want to nominate. No, 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 but something big happened in Iowa this week where, oh, the guy, the guy, this became a national story. There's a guy in prison and I guess four years or he died when he went, they took him into the hospital when he was in prison. He died and then they resuscitated him. He came back to life. (laughs) He's doing life in prison and he he went before the judge and said um, he should be released because he's a new person. 
Yeah, he, 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 guy, he already died once, right? Yeah, yeah. the guy that you sentenced to life is dead. This is a new me. And, yeah, they got to court, and the um, judge turned him down. So this is kind of pretty cool. But that became kind of a big story. Yeah, so I guess it's the, not these, Iowa. These, these activist judges, Gene. <laughs> I know. I, I like his argument, though. It's, it's creative, you know? Yeah. Did, how did he, like, did he overdose himself or did he hang I, himself? I, he was happen? in prison when he died. Or, or I mean, he was, I don't know what was going on with him. But yeah. All right. Well, Gene, remember last week? Yeah. I think it was a Michigan woman who uh, oh, was killed by a giant died. boa constrictor. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm. Well, we got a uh, another similar story here. Oh, not. Okay. A woman that was found dead in her home was likely killed by her own dogs. Wow. Police say. Sometimes those dogs, they'll turn on you. Mary I'm... Matthews, 49, was found in her Clear Creek Township. Hmm. Do you I'm know guess... Clear Cl- Creek Township, Gene? I'm going to say uh, Michigan because Battle Creek is in Michigan, so that's the only other. <laughs> Are there other creek towns in Michigan? Well, it's in uh, it's in Ohio. Oh, okay. About 40, 40 miles northeast of Cincinnati. All righty. That's I that's by Kentucky, correctly. Gene. Yeah. That's hillbilly I've, country. I've, I've been there. Some weird stuff goes around yeah. those areas. The police department determined that Matthews was attacked by her own dogs, according to the incident report. Suffered multiple injury, cuts and puncture wounds on the lower half of the body. Uh, Matthews' husband, Mark Matthews, found his wife unresponsive in the home Friday and called authorities. He had been in the county jail since Wednesday. Ah. Oh. And return to return home that day, according to the report. There's no information on when the attack, attack went up. Of course, so this guy wasn't. Uh, first of all, Gene, he, pretty bad day. I'm. Right, I, I mean, right. well, but, but maybe not today, but you know, bad couple of days. You're in jail. Yeah. You, you're you're released from jail. I guess that's a pretty good day. Right. And hey. uh, you know, you open the door. Hey, honey, I'm home. Yeah. Hi, honey. How's and it going? And then you got <laughs> her with a giant. Bite marks, all oh bloody. Uh, speaking of uh, washing the walls, Gene, right? Yeah, uh, they paint houses. Yeah, her, his house got really painted, Gene. Yeah. Uh, Mark, he told the police that the black Great Dane was vicious wow. and showed an officer bite marks on his right forearm. Uh, he said that uh, he was always able to fend off the dogs, but it was his wife alone, and they attacked. She would not have been able to defend herself because of her small stature. Uh, uh, investigators found the kitchen counters covered in debris, including beer cans and medicine bottles. Uh, tr- tragedy all around. <laughs> a lot, lot of tragedy. You hear stories about dogs turning. Usually, it's not a labradoodle or anything. It's those kind of crazy dogs but well it's because people breed those crazy dogs oh yeah to, uh, yeah be vicious they, attack dogs they, so it's right not, yeah yeah i'm sure you can you can turn it up by the way gene you ever go like walking around mm-hmm. those tiny ass little dogs they're pretty vicious nipping at your be. nip at your ankles yeah yeah I, I, mean, I, yeah I love it that people that like don't pick up the slack and their leash right and they just let the dog guy crazy <laughs> it's like oh i'm sorry he's crazy well you're the goddamn owner yeah how, how about that how would you do something how about you train well, the goddamn yeah. dog right right yeah oh boy not good gene we got another wor- worst day of the week oh two of them well we got we got three the one oh, from okay. iowa right? right yeah the iowa yeah the guy t- trying to claim he should have got a yep. new lease on life yep the one who's a woman who had a bunch of crazy dogs in the house right. and uh, loved them so much, she got killed by them. Oh, well, this may uh, this may take the cake, Gene. Uh oh. There was a recent election, Gene. Last week there was an election. Voters, and again, I'm not gonna. I'll let you guess the state. Okay. Okay. Voters in this city of this state. Decided to remove Martin Luther King Jr.'s name from a neighborhood boulevard. <laughs> oh no! Wow. That was renamed in, oh. in January to honor the civil rights leader. Did not last eleven months, Gene. Wow. I'm gonna say Illinois because they're so crazy and corrupt. But I don't know. In a That's special terrible. election Tuesday, the measure to change Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. back to Paseo Boulevard. By the way, what's a Paseo? Paseo, Paseo Boulevard. 
received about 65% of the vote, according to figures released by the city's Board of Education Consumers. Gene, the city is Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, Kansas City. Great time, city, but what's going on Missouri. There? Missouri. Missouri. They got enough... They should have just tabled that one for probably a couple decades to let things calm down. All there. right. Now, Gene, Kansas City is the on the left side of the state, right? Yeah. By Kansas. Okay. Is yeah, that correct? It borders because there's Kansas City, Kansas and Kansas City, Missouri. And they're right like next to each other. Is that yeah, correct? I'm saying yes. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, you act like, you know, these states, Gene, but then right. it's just calling of all like fudgy, you know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It makes sense that they're right next to but, each other. But uh, wow, Gene. That Can't, is P- really Pacey bad. O Boulevard. I guess it uh, just hit a little bit too hard <laughs> for home. The you know, pay, pay, I don't know what the hell Paseo, Paseo, yeah. Paseo, yeah, Paseo. People are like, what is it? Martin Luther King? What the hell did he ever do for our state? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man, that's bad. That's uh, disappointing. There, uh, people of Missouri, Kansas City, man. Yeah, it's a great. Did not. Um, what? What's? I mean. It's they all it's it. all tragic, but they they renamed it in January to MLK. Yeah, did uh, not did not last eleven months, twelve months. They uh, lost today to the Titans, and then this story. So. Well, hey, there you go. Karma's a bitch. Yeah, good to have Patrick Mahomes. Hey, back yeah, there. right. Patrick Mahomes, your goddamn quarterback, half black quarterback. Yeah, four hundred. Passio, I don't I don't think Passio ever played ball. Wow. For the Kansas City Chiefs. Man. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough. Uh, bad yeah. luck there, Missouri. Too bad MLK didn't play fullback, right, Gene? <laughs> yeah. You'd have a whole goddamn uh, street corner I named know. after him. I know. Hank Stram's probably got a street named after him, no problem. He's the one that coached him to the Super Bowl in 72, I think. Or really? Somewhere around. When that Kansas City won the Super Bowl, Hank Stram was their coach. So he's probably got a street. White guy or black guy? White Oh, come on. Well, white yeah, guy. of course. Yeah, back in the 70s. Well, there yeah. were no. That color barrier didn't get crossed. All before, right. Like the 90s, didn't it? Uh, well, whatever. Tony happened, Dungeon? Tony Dungy? Tony Dun- was he the first? I'm not sure. I don't have the last uh, slide. Oh, well. Well, Gene, it's a, uh, it's a terrible, terrible world. Yes. But I would say. like to dedicate uh, this night or tomorrow. Well,. It's already dedicated to the veterans, so good job. Keep up. We need right, we well, need you to fight for us so we can fight against those people um, making those piss poor decisions in Missouri. Yeah. Well, uh, this has been a very special episode dedicated to the veterans. Yeah. Thanks for all the hard work and everything. So what? No, but Veterans Day is the people who died, right? And then Memorial oh, Day is yeah. the people. No, no, Memorial, Memorial Day is the people Day that died. Those who died. Veterans, and veterans, and veterans. But that does not include the people currently serving. Is that correct? I believe it should. All the vets. Yeah, I think it does. Does it? Does the Coast Guard count? I, I believe so. Yeah, I, I, think, I think they're they, branched the most. First responders, they usually get a shout out. I Jeez. know that's not, but and now they get like shout out. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for the bank holiday, <laughs> folks. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. And uh, for less for one day, uh, having less traffic in L.A. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and they man. fought. They fought hard for that. They did. They fought hard. All right. So for Gene Steichen, my name is uh, Chris. Stats, let's get the music going here. So my name is Chris Stotts. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys again next week. Oh my gosh.